So I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the league. To the families of the league. Mothers, fathers, uncles, baby daddies, baby mamas, Miss Jackson, everybody. I was naive to think I could be the commissioner of this league and we could have a great draft and I could be so good looking and also try to win. I don't know what I was thinking. It's hard to look into my soul and face my worst nightmare. You know, it had to be my way and now I'm 0-2 and I've barely scored 200 points in two weeks. just feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel. So, facing the unimaginable, I decided to come out to the wilderness and attempt to find out who I really am. I found three dead kids from UCF from some documentary like 10 years ago. But besides that, it's been pretty uneventful. But I'm hungry and sweating a lot. I have this winter cap on for some reason. And I'm still low in two. It's sad and depressing and pathetic. I'm almost ashamed to show my face. I may never come back. I mean, I'll probably go up to the Dunkin' Donuts up the road and use their Wi-Fi and set my lineup, but then I may never actually, you know, I may come back out here and not come back. Who knows? So I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. While I was out here, I managed to write a couple of things down that we should probably go over. And luckily I brought a flashlight. Let's go over a couple things. The underdogs are 2-4 and four this week. So nothing can be said for the opening lines, whether you're favorite or not. After an embarrassing loss last week, the harshest of losses, Savino was able to come back with 219 points and destroy everybody including the Mangans who managed to score 190 points unexpectedly. Aaron Jones knows the true wrath of fantasy football and how soul-crushing and cruel it can really be. She went from 245 points last week to 97, even lower than me, which is hard to do. And to further prove that there is no God, Dan Stack is 2-0, and so is Capper. Eight of you are 1-1, one and one, but that doesn't include myself or Holly. She's in some other set of woods somewhere else. I think she's milling in a video too, but we'll see. I guess no one's technically out of it, but emotionally, I'm dead. The high scores this week were Aaron Rodgers with 52, Michael Vick with 46, Phil Rivers with 45, Julio Jones with 41, and Deshaun Jackson with 40. Nobody on my team. Just a reminder that it's rivalry week. Not that it matters. But for those who could still possibly win this league, it is important for you. Because if you win, you get five points in week four as a bonus, which can also help you win week four. Just to review, in the house divided category, that would be the Joneses versus each other, and then me and Holly against each other, if we come back. In the 
friends divided category, that would be Tyler and Bennett. Savino and Capper. Pavano and Stack. And in the law divided category, that would be Goss and Mangan. This is your last week of free transactions. So starting with the waivers of week four, which would be a week from today, it's $5 per. I'm not sure where you'd send the money. Maybe I can find a mailbox on some isolated road you could put it in. And I'll get it later, but get all your transactions done this week if you need it to be free. Trades or whatever. Not that it matters. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun because someone should. I'm going to continue to find a way to live out here. We are going to be at Smoky Bones on Sunday, so that's nice. I'll probably come back for that. They have triple points for their Bones Club card. I like their wings. We haven't been there in a while. and So, we'll be there. It's the only thing I can look forward to. Sad. Very sad. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't have anything else. I don't have anything else left to give. I hope this finds you well. Goodbye forever. <laughs>